Good morning, good morning. Well, welcome back to the channel. Um, today, we have a very exciting uh, day planned. We're going to do some good things. I'm going to try to make some new recipes. Um, but first of all, we're going to get started with some sun tea. I've got to get it going. It's early in the morning. The sun's coming out. Um, it's going to be a very hot day. So I feel like the sun tea will be... Um, really uh, healthy and good for us today. I'm gonna do a recipe of um, some peach things. Uh, it's peach season here in East Tennessee. Um, I'm excited about, uh, I love peaches. And so we're gonna do some good recipes for you. Um, hopefully you can uh, gather some information about uh, some new recipes and have some really good, interesting summer treats. Um, just wanted to start out today with um, a fresh new idea that I have. Um, we are in abundance right now with um, peaches, so we're going to be making some peach things today. Um, we're going to be doing some summery projects that I really love during the summer. My grandkids love them, my husband loves them, and uh, I'm going to step you right through this and show you a few processes that will get us started on today. A peach crisp first of all crisp is uh, with rolled oats and it's just a really beautiful topping that goes on top of your peach cobbler type thing um, I did can some peaches last week and this is uh, a peach pie filling and this was uh, sugar uh, peaches and then I made a cornstarch and made the the thickness of it so this was a real easy process too so, what we're going to do is I'm going to spray this 9 by 13 pan. Okay, and we're going to pour our peach pie filling in this. every piece of goodness out of this. I had about a, a little bit left over in a little pint jar so I'm going to use that too just feel like there's no need for it. This has been in the refrigerator since I canned these. Okay that looks gorgeous. Okay now let's get started on our crust. What we're going to be using is um, a half a cup of brown sugar, a half a cup of flour, uh, all purpose flour, one and a half cups of rolled oats, and I like to use just a pinch of salt. This is kosher salt. And you just mix that up. Now we're going to put a, a stick of butter in this. Now you can put cinnamon in this any way you want it. Nuts, whatever you want to put in it as long as, you know, as, as it goes with your fruit. Um, my husband is not a big uh, fan of nuts, so we're not going to use nuts. But I'm going to be putting a stick of butter in this and getting it nice and crumbly. Putting a stick of butter. Um, it's needs, this needs to be cold. Um, we're going to just cut it up into pieces and then we're going to chop it into it until it's kind of grainy and um, that way it'll disperse into the topping.
Okay, I'm just chopping this kind of coarsely. Okay, let's finish this up. I feel like the butter is what makes this fish so delicious. Gives it a rich taste. Anybody that watches my channel knows I use my hands. My hands are clean. Um, I just uh, wash them. So if you use, if you see me using my fingers or my hands, just know they're clean. Okay, now you're gonna see this. This looks absolutely wonderful. You can see how crumbly it is. It's got a really pretty texture to it. So what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna crumble it right across the top of our peach pie filling. Can see how pretty that is Ugh, can't wait okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover it with foil and believe it or not we're gonna cook this on the grill um, like I told you before it is about 75 degrees um, and it is rather warm and I don't like heating up the kitchen we cook with gas and gas heat is very hot so we're going to cook this on the grill. Uh, just because it's outside, um, we won't heat the house up and it'll do just fine. Okay, so nice and tight. Okay, there we go. We're almost ready for a wonderful, wonderful treat. Um, this doesn't take long. This is super easy. This is probably one of the most easiest, crisp, uh, desserts that you'll ever eat. Um, it is great for a party. It's great in the summer. It's um, just a, just a terrific, terrific dish to cook because it's so simple and easy. Now you can use canned peaches, um, pie filling. Um, you can make your own syrup uh, with the you know peaches cooked down with sugar. I chose to do the pie filling uh, because I already had it made and there was no sense in me doing all that work all over again whenever I already had pie filling. Okay, as you can see, I have the grill at about 350, 400, something like that. As soon as I open the lid, of course, it's going to be cooler. But I'm going to put this pie right in there in the center, and I'm just going to cook it. We're going to time it for about 30 minutes, and we're going to check it, and then I'm going to take the foil off of it and let it brown a little bit. Um, this is going to be out of this world. Okay, it's been about... 35 minutes. Let's get this thing out of here.
Okay, so the sun tea is ready. You can look at it. It's very warm. I'm gonna... This is decaf, by the way. Uh, my grandson can't have regular uh, caffeine tea. So we make sure that he has decaf so that it doesn't hurt his kidneys. But um, you can look how pretty that is. So we're going to take the tea bags out. Now this was four large family size tea bags. In about a gallon of water. Okay. And I've made my syrup. My simple syrup. It's just peaches, uh, sugar, and a little bit of water. And look how yummy. And I don't know that I'll use all of it, but we're going to go. Oh, and let me show you this. We're going to put a little bit of baking soda in it. This helps smooth the tea out from bitterness. So we're just going to put about a... Uh, we're going to put about a teaspoon in it. I think a teaspoon will be plenty. And get it open. And I'm just going to kind of pinch it in and kind of, I actually add salt to my coffee as well to make, take the bitterness away. Don't want to put too much. You don't want salty, but the baking soda will definitely. Okay, there goes our syrup. And I immerse the peaches up in it. I really like the peach in it. Yeah. If this is not sweet enough for you, then add more. If it's too sweet, then take away. We're from the South and we love sweet tea. So, sweet tea it is. This is our sun tea. And now we're going to go chill it and put it in the refrigerator. And by the way, this is a Christmas jug. It says Christmas trees, <laughs> but it's got the little dispenser and I liked it because it's a gallon and I can put it in the refrigerator. Okay. Um, we're going to so move we're on now make to some making some homemade cream. vanilla ice homemade cream. Ice cream. Um, we're going to be using heavy whipping cream, cream uh, regular milk, sugar, uh, vanilla, and then we're going to bring it to a nice little boil and, and then we're going to chill it. Uh, we've got rock salt and we've got the then it goes inside the canister, so we've got that ready. i got all my mixture ready. We chilled the in the container um, in the freezer. It's nice and cold. So we're going to sit it down inside the uh, machine. There's a little notch that this fits in right down in the center. Put this inside of it. We pour our mixture in. Our mixture is um, all fixed up and ready. It's chilled as well. And so we're going to just pour this in. I fixed it earlier this morning. And then you take the motor part and you can't. Uh oh, I'm missing the lid. Let me go find the lid. Okay, so I found it. I found the lid. It goes right down inside. And then this 
has a little square thing it goes right inside of the and then you just lock it in on the sides and it just works out. Okay. then we're going to plug it up to ice in around it Got it all the way up to the top. Now we're going to add enough rock salt to finish it up. run for about 30 minutes.
Well, that's all of our video. I hope you enjoyed the peach crisp recipe, our sweet vanilla ice cream homemade, and our sweet iced tea uh, with peach nectar. Um, we've enjoyed the um, day. We are just finishing up in the pool, refreshing. It's about 90 something degrees today, but I wanna say thank you uh, for your follow and also for venturing out with us today and learning something new, a uh, new recipe, maybe for your summer. Um, see you on the next time.